Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and if you already know who I am, welcome back. That was weird. I'm going to be doing a kind of simple look to do for Valentine's Day, and I feel like this is a really easy makeup look to do. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate chocolate bonbon palette. You guys want to see how this works out? Yeah. So, let's get on with the video. Ooh, that glow. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows per usual, and I used the Anastasia Dip Brow in Medium Brown. So now I'm going to be using the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. Wow, those look like a long... Little annoying, they caught the hair. I'm gonna use a brush now. <laughs> Let's not use our fingers ever again. I didn't want to show you guys my brush, it's all dirty. <laughs> this Valentine's look, I want my makeup to stay, which is why I'm using the 24 hour um, eye primer because I don't want the eyeshadow to crease and look disgusting, you know, because when you out, you want to look cute. So I'm gonna be going on to the Too Faced Chocolate and Bun Bun palette by using this shadow right over here, and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. That way, I could have a nice, smooth base. You guys know you gotta set that eyeshadow base. Oh wow, this is really nice. Um, I could taste the sweetness. Is that weird? I can't. Wait. What? what? I'm not sure if I smell the chocolate because for the sweet peach palette, I could definitely smell the sweet peach in that palette. I don't know if it's my imagination. Maybe it's there and I'm just like crazy. But I, I'm gonna take this brown right over here. And I'm just gonna put this in. How do I? I don't even know how I want to do this. Round, so I'm gonna do it. I'm just doing it. But I know it's gonna be simple. <laughs> Maybe. I think I'm gonna do a halo. Yeah, let's do a halo. I'm gonna put this in the outer. Just so this is gonna be our transition color. I'm just gonna blend it and take it towards the inner. I'm just gonna be blending this out. Coming to the Cap on D palette, and I'm taking this shade right here just because. It um, the Too Faced palette doesn't have a lot of browns that I want to use to get my eyeshadow look deeper. So I'm just going to take that brown and put it in the outer and then take it towards my crease. Alright, so the that. Now I'm coming to the Too Faced palette and taking this burnt red color. gonna take this really light pink and I'm gonna put that in the middle. Ooh, it's really powdery. So I'm just putting this in the middle. Mm. Like how I said this was gonna be simple. I don't know if this is simple. This is simple for me. So I'm just gonna be putting this on here. And isn't this brush like the cutest thing ever? It reminds me of a Barbie. I don't know why. Maybe because it's pink. It's hot pink. Barbies. Taking this shade, which is called Cotton Candy. How cute is that? It does have fallout. And I'm just going to put it in the middle. That one's pinker. That's cute. kind of want to leave it like this. Okay. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's like a little bit pink. I kind of want it to be darker. So I'm going to take the dark darkest pink that there is, which is this one right here. And let's see how that works. Okay. It's not as pink as I thought it was going to be. Actually, I thought it was going to be a little bit pinker. But I did think that this pink was going to be pinker. Maybe I just keep packing it on. It'll be pinker. Go back and blend it out with this burnt reddish brown color. I feel like I always say this, but if you mess up, don't worry about it because you could always clean it up. It is not a big deal. It's just makeup. You could always clean it up. Don't even stress. Blending everything on top. 
like so. Moon Dust Palette from Urban Decay. And I'm taking this pink right here, which is called Spectre. So that's pretty. Oh, I just dug my nail in there. That's great. Now I'm just gonna start blending some of this glitter off because I don't want it to look too sharp, you know? Move on to the face and then I'm gonna go back to the eyes. So, yes. So I recently purchased this foundation. I'm gonna use this and see how it works. I heard that this foundation is great and wonderful and all that jazz, but like for me so far, it looks like cool. I'm just gonna take some of my beauty blenders like I always do with every single foundation and thing. And I'm even putting my concealer after my foundation, and I usually don't do that. So, you know, maybe I should put my eyeliner. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, that's gross, dude. And I'm using a damp beauty blender because I feel like when you use a damp beauty blender, it helps my face just hydrate a little bit more. It feels more fresh. I wouldn't say that it's full coverage, it's just medium. Maybe the foundation is like that, but I watched um, Kathleen Light's video and she said that this CC cream is just like the foundation, which is why I bought the CC cream, because the foundation is a little bit more pricier. So I'm like, oh, if it's the same thing and she sees no difference in the, in the two, why not just buy the CC cream since it's not expensive, right? But so far, I feel like this foundation is like poo. So this is how the foundation looks with no concealer. And I feel like it, it has like a nice pretty coverage for everyday use. Because I usually don't like to use a full coverage foundation for like going out, you know, with my friends and stuff. I like a full coverage for going to a party and stuff like that. But like to go out with my friends, I just like a medium coverage because they're just for you. The fact is that I don't like that how it gets over the day. So if you guys want to see how this foundation looks, make sure you go to my Snapchat. Because that is where you'll probably see my face with the foundation. I'm going to put concealer under my eyes just because I'm like the extra today because I'm going to a birthday party. I'm just going to put some here. I'm not going to do the triangle thing just because I want to keep it a little bit simple. So that's all I'm doing. I'm blend it out. By the way, the concealer that I'm using is the NYX HD concealer that looks like this and this is in 04. So it's there. And then the foundation color is medium. So I'm just gonna blend this out. Oh, I was saying that this concealer is my favorite one. If you know how to blend your concealer, like not go crazy ham and like over blend where it just disappears, this concealer is the best. Look. Look at it. Girl, this is good. I don't know what you mean. So I'm gonna use this pencil shape brush and I'm gonna take that burnt brown. I'm gonna put it on in my bottom lashes. Bottom lashes. Bottom lash line. Bottom lash line. I think that's right. That sounds right, right? And, uh, just carefully doing that. For the eyeliner, I'm using the NYX liquid liner. It's this one. It's the one that says matte. And this is my favorite liner because this liner does not budge. And do this, I'm gonna stay quiet because when you do eyeliner, you have to be quiet. Okay, let's do okay. silence now. mascara I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion um, mascara okay so I put my mascara on and I put it on the bottom lash line yeah I put it on the bottom lashes and yeah I'm using the wet and wild contour palette this one is in Dulce de Leche I put it right over here I'm not dragging it all the way towards my mouth
And what I usually do with the axis, I just go onto my nose and I just use that to my nose contour. That's usually what I do. <coughs> so I'm going to use the Tarte Color Wheel. Uh, this is the Amazon Clay Blush Palette. Looks like this. I got this one for Christmas, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use this shade right over here. Using the Glow Sun Dip Kit, and this is from Anastasia. Anyways, I'm going to be using <laughs> this shade right here on my nose. Mm. Hmm. Is it just me or is it not glowing as it used to be? I'm taking Summer and Moonstone just together like that. Lips, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint and this one is in TBT. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Meh. God, I love this lipstick. It feels so mad. Oh wait, let me do that montage thing where you go like really slow. Let me do it. Let me do it. That was fun. So that's the end of my video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it and do come back next time and make sure you subscribe and like and comment down below and I'll see you guys next time, bye!